and welcome back to Crafts with V. Now we've got something really lovely to do today. Um, maybe a little bit trickier than some of the others, but it's still a really simple thing and you don't need very much with it. So let me show you. We are going to be sewing your name. So can you see this is my daughter? It says Sinead and she's sewn each of the letters so that it looks really, really cool. Do you think you'd enjoy doing that with your name? Yes. Shall we see what we've got to do? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get a strip of cardboard. So I'm just cutting a section off the box. And that's it. You're gonna be able to just use this. Doesn't matter what's on the back, as long as you've got a plain strip of fairly thick cardboard. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is write your name along there in a black pen. So we will do that now. Okay, with a pencil, you're just going to make some holes along those black lines. So just push your pencil through and it should just make a little dot like that. Leave a little gap and do another one, like maybe a centimetre, maybe a little bit less, and just go all the way along the letter and you will keep going until you've done the whole of the name. Let's go. There you go. So we've got holes all the way along each of the letters in their name. You should be able to see on the back, you've got those holes there. Okay, next thing you need then is some wool. Doesn't matter what color it is. At one end, you're going to tie a knot so that it can't, a big enough knot that it won't come through the holes that you've made. So just tie it round a couple of times until it's a nice fat knot <laughs> okay at the other end you will just need to put some sellotape now the reason for the sellotape is just so that it's easy to thread it through so i'm just going to fold over the wool and then wrap around some sellotape and again just to make it a nice firm end to your wool okay and that will make it easier to put it through each of the holes if you've got like a plastic needle or something you can use that um but i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible so start at the first letter and you want to get them to push it in from the back so that when they pull it all the way through this is probably a bit long um the knot will be at the back so you won't see it and then just get them to find the next hole and push the needle through and keep pulling all the string through and you'll get your first stitch and then find the next hole and you're coming back up through that one and then find the next one and you go back down through it so you're going up and down up and down up and down and you'll start to see that the wool is making the letter for you so when you get to the end of the letter if you are on the top just get yourself your pencil and make another hole so that you can be going down and out of your letter again because you want to move on to the next letter from the back so once you've gone down on the last one just find the next hole that you want to go to. So this one's quite far away, but I'm gonna go for that one and pull the string all the way through. So you'll just have a really long line of wool, but that's fine. And then you're ready to start your next letter and do the same again. So on E, I've just gone back through the same hole that I went through earlier, just so that I end up on the back again, ready to go on to my next letter. So find the next part of the letter. You want to start at one end of the letter rather than the middle, makes it a little bit easier. And you've got another long strip of wool going across to the next letter. But I'm on my tuck next. 
and just keep going. And there you have it. I've gone from the S onto the E, onto the T and onto the H and I've finished. So you'll have some string left over perhaps and you've just got to tie another knot to make sure that it doesn't fall off. So I just loop it under one of the other strings and just tie a knot and then again loop it round and tie a knot and once you've done that you can cut it off and your name is complete it doesn't matter how messy it is on the back nobody's going to see that it's just yours so if you want to go back through because my son's a little bit older so he went back through with a different color and he did all the gaps in between so here we've got a thread then a gap a thread then a gap so you can go back through and do the opposite with a different color so he's got his full letter made with different stitches isn't that cool and with both of these we put a hole in the top so we poked another hole in the top with our pencil and so it's their name for their doors isn't that cool so you could do that as well and again let me show you the back messy messy doesn't matter how messy it is on the back it's all about how lovely it looks on the front so i would love if you've made this crap for you to send me a picture do you think you could do that i would love to see your name being sewn by you and i'd like to see if you hang it or whether you stick it in a frame whatever you do with it i would love to see it so i hope you've enjoyed doing that craft today and i will see you again soon for another one